guys, welcome back to another Skeeters podcast video. What's, What's up, up y'all? Um, it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. You guys will be seeing this Thursday. <laughs> yes, we're going to drop it. But if you are new here, I am Shar. This is Lo. What up, though? And we are the Skeeters. This is our podcast. Baby London is hanging out, chilling over that way. You'll hear her. And mommy. But yeah, y'all, you know, we said this is something new. So we uh, we got our pod. Two the videos a week. Oh, you're no, the pod is, right, the, pod is the same, but two videos a week. Yeah. That's something new, y'all. Yeah. So um, we're here feeling good, feeling great. We are going to get into our pod. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. No. Yay, podcast. Yay, podcast. Yay, podcast. Say podcast, podcast. Say yay podcast. Say yay podcast. Yay. Wait. Say yay podcast. She's gonna say wait. Alright, you ready to start? Yep. What up though? It's Big Papa Scoot. <laughs> and Big Mama Neasy. Now you want to talk Big Baby London? Say Baby London. Look, when it's her turn to talk, she don't talk. But when it's not her turn to talk, she gonna talk. Can't be freezing up now. Say Baby London. Oh no, you ain't hear the, the episode of <laughs> last week's episode of the podcast. I broke podcast rule number four. You froze? Kinda. On the main show? Kinda. What? I, I was... I did. The th I broke rule number four. I did something that I wasn't oh. supposed to do before the show, gotcha. and I did it. And then uh, um, I was like, "All right, y'all, so this is." <laughs> then you forgot the whole thing. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yeah, you broke the rules. I came. Man. I came to a fork in the road, and I went straight through it. So I apologize to y'all. It wasn't my best podcast moment, but hey, after three hundred and fifty some episodes, it happens, man. Yeah. It happens. Um. Five so, I did want to talk to you a little. It's, it's oh, February 1st. Y'all know what it is. That means it's Black History Month. We up black in this thing. Black history. Can you say How? black history? Now, for those of y'all, February is a big deal because Nizi's birthday is coming up. No, she don't care about Valentine's Day. I do care about Valentine's Day, but it's not a big deal. Understood. Understood. So, I care. So, like, you still got, he still has to do stuff for me for stuff. Valentine's Day. I still got to do stuff. Oh, um, all right. So, first off, how do you feel, like, we know this every year, but, like, Black History Month, are you excited about it this year? Like, like what's up? Yeah, you know, especially now having a, a, a daughter, I'm even more excited about it because we still get to teach her more and more about it. Okay. Even though we teach her about it every day and, you know, all the time. But it's really that, like we said, the History Month is when it's really supposed to be instilled. You're really supposed to. You'll see other people doing it, too. Yeah. And I mean, outside of the norm, we'll really, because it is supposed to be something that happens on a daily basis. Well, so here's my thing, because remember I brought up, I didn't bring it up on there, but for Kwanzaa, I was like, oh, we should start doing Kwanzaa. And you was like, nah. Yeah, Kwanzaa's not my thing. I, that's, you know, it's everybody like, has their own thing. What's wrong with, how you going to talk about I Black History Month? We I'm not, not do Kwanzaa. I'm we can do Kwanzaa. We're doing Kwanzaa it. this year. I didn't grow up with Kwanzaa, so Kwanzaa. I didn't either. Thing. I learned it, and I learned the value of it, and I was like, this would be cool to teach to my children, instead of the jokes that I was cracking. Now, I deleted my Twitter, but if y'all know me back in the day, I went on a whole F Kwanzaa rant, like, just mm -hmm. about how this is made up and all that, instead of paying attention to what it stood for. So, Jeez. I've grown, and I've learned. You've matured. I've matured. I'm matured now. I'm matured. This maturity. Yeah. It's maturity now. That's good. It's Great. It's maturity. Now, hey. all right. Black History Month, we got all month to like get to that. Some fun facts. I did do a write up at my job for, um, they asked yes. me to, to pick somebody. Last year I did Matthew Knowles, uh -huh. Beyonce's dad. Because I feel like Beyonce was too obvious. So I was like, let's talk about the man behind the brand, right? right. And then uh, this year I picked Robert F. Smith, who was known. Uh, He's the philanthropist. He's the businessman. He's like a venture capitalist, but he was the guy who paid off all of the student debt for a Morehouse a okay. couple of years back. And then also the parents who had to pay as part of the Parent PLUS loans. So I got to do a little research on him, educate the people that work about him. You know what I'm saying? Left out the tax evasion parts. But I'm like, that's, that's rich people problem. All rich people, you're not rich if you ain't had to like deal with tax evasion uh, you know? allegations. You know what I'm no? saying? 
Hey, that's true. So, but I'll say that because I want to get to it about your birthday. Uh -huh. right, and we got plenty of time to talk about this month too, along with Black History Month. So, but are you excited for it? Like, is there anything in particular you looking forward to this year? Like, what's up? I am excited about my birthday. This is my 32nd birthday. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm excited about my birthday all the time. But this one, um, if you guys are following me on Instagram, naturally underscore nay. Thank you. I am doing the 15 days of Neezy. So uh, every day you're going to get a picture of me. Yeah. Every day. Like, and I'm going to commit to that. So, um, hey. I like that. 15 days 15 of Neezy. 15 days of Neezy. And it may or may not come with a good... Slut, slick caption. I'm about to say a slut. <laughs> Whoa, what's but going on? Type of it may or may not have a slick caption, or you know, just maybe. By slick, slick caption, you mean a Taylor Swift or a Rihanna um, uh, lyric? Something like that, you know? Okay. You know, because uh, we're going to the Taylor Swift concert. Uh, this is when you in get April. That's that's right around the corner. Real it time. is. I'm excited about that too. I still have to find my outfit. Yeah. Um, but London, yeah. you gonna have fun with Daddy while we while they go to the concert. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here first. But um, yeah, I like no. I'm really excited. I would like to be on a beach somewhere, but you know, we didn't plan for it in advance, so uh, that's all right. Yeah, we're we'll, getting there. We'll we'll have something else fun to do. We got big stuff going on this year, like really big stuff. Yeah. S certain stuff. What they say, like, we can't talk about it. Yeah. We can't talk about it until it's time to talk about it. It'll be revealed it. in later episodes. Later episodes. So make sure y'all are watching the vlog too um, on YouTube, Naturally Nay. Yeah. Make sure y'all do that. Make sure Naturally. you're following us. So a couple Naturally. things I want to get to for this episode. Again, we, 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 we're trying not to get here too long because I know you're tired. Look, you, look, you can't even keep your eyes open. <laughs> if y'all watching the video. It's been a long day. Her lazy eye acting up. My lazy eye acting up. Y'all, it's cold in Houston. We're back to 39 degrees. Like normally by now. We've already had our cold front, yeah. and we are back into like our 70 to 80 degree weather. Nope. We got freezing rain outside. Man. And That's it's like, cold. it went from 30, what was it, 34 degrees to 40 degrees. Yeah. And it's like, like sometimes when it's that 30, 40 degrees, it's cold. But this, today, it was like that piercing cold. This, like it this was feel like back home. I know, I, know, I know all of our Midwest listeners, our Detroit, our Cleveland mm -hmm. listeners. They're probably like, yeah, listen, no, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. But like, it's like that piercing wind. Like we don't when it get blows, this down here. And then it's wet blowing, and it's just cold. Shout out to Dallas, too, man, because they got the actual, like, ice, ice storms yes. and all of that. Like, they got the ice storm. We had a couple Februarys ago. Yeah. I don't want those problems. Nah, Especially nah, nah. not with these people driving down here the way that they do. Nope. Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> damn that. Uh, did you, so you talking about the Taylor Swift concert. Did you see Beyonce announced her tour? I did. So now. And Houston's going crazy. Yeah. And um, so my boss, she's one of those people who's like Beyonce. crazy Beyonce. They're friend. attacking Beyonce. No. Yeah. And she was like, she was like, oh, uh, well. I guess I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay for these concerts. Just like, let's see if I can skip on some rent or something. I was like, Nah, you know what she's about to do. Nah. She's about to go sell her body. It's like, nah, nah, nah that. Y'all can have at it. I'm not gonna be in that madness. I already know. She's she gonna show up for tryouts at the strip club. Like, y'all got room for one more? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> these Beyonce tickets are going to be at least the price of two Taylor Swift tickets. Wait, like Taylor Swift's I thought Taylor Swift would be more. Beyonce Taylor more? Taylor Swift's VIP package mm -hmm. was nine hundred dollars. For one. For one ticket. Beyonce's is what? Eighteen? Beyonce's is gonna be more than that. Beyond cause every time They're her concert Beyonce. rolls around <laughs> every time her concert rolls around, at least one ticket is nine or more. Yeah. And then just think about that. My that's the regular is, ticket. That's the regular Oops. ticket. Just think about this now. She just got paid twenty four million to do a private concert. So uh, <laughs> y'all better come with y'all bucks. Y'all gonna be playing the whole not, see, right there. rent and car note for one right ticket. there. And I know this ain't gonna be possible because like, but right there, you just made twenty four million right, off so of just one make show. It, so open this one up to the fans, man. Have some sixty dollars tickets see, for the kids no, in the community. Not even sixty dollars, but I can even see I like tickets being like for nosebleed I seats, miss, like a hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Nosebleeds being a hundred dollars, and then you get closer, like. I would say even for all concerts, 
let the front row tickets and all that be 500 max, man. Because we are living in hard times, y'all. <laughs> These are hard times. Help me. Bro, eggs is $9. So you mad about that? Neezy sent me a text while I was at I was trying to, okay, so like, wait. Look at this. We've been talking about pescatarian, meats. right? Because one, we're tired, I'm tired of meat, meats. chicken, all of that. And like I'm tired meats. of the turkey wings, all of that. She just so, tired of meat all together. I'm like, I, am tired right, of meat I ain't giving it, I ain't giving it up all the way. So, Ten Ten minutes. Minutes. like Ten this minutes. whole grocery Ten list, minutes. I was like, okay, let's do pescatarian. And then I got Ten certain Ten things for Ten London Ten. too. Um, the one, one thing of salmon was eighteen dollars. Yeah. And then the pack of cod. In ten minutes, the pack of cod. There was only two pieces of cod in the pack, and it was nineteen dollars. And I said, "What for two pieces?" And the two pieces is this big. So if y'all can see, y'all y'all listeners, y'all gonna have to go to the vlog for this one. The piece of cod was this big, and there's only two in there. After you cook it, it shrinks down. So uh, yeah, nah. And like I said, I was I'm stop. I'm not buying eggs. Because one, we're not even eating them really. So we have a pack of eggs and we don't even really eat it. But pack of eggs, nine dollars? Yeah, yeah, nah. Nah, bro. Go yeah. with that. Yeah. It, it I always go back to that one time where the dude stole my grandmother's groceries. <laughs> to, like we, we literally like left it, like we loaded the car up, went back in to, to go grab something. I was like, oh granny, so I forgot this and that. We went back in, we came back out. She like, put this in the back with the rest of the stuff. And I was like, uh, what's the <laughs> It's gone. The dog came and took all the groceries out. He only left the little it's like the pound next. cake things, the little it's snack cake. Next. He was like, yeah, y'all had that. Y'all gonna eat that for the I, I think that's just because they was at the top of the bag, bro. Like, he just, <laughs> and it just fell out. Like, how do you grab? It take me forever to carry all those groceries like in and out the house. How does somebody pull up and just take all the groceries? He did the arm slap where he just take his arm, stick it all through the bag. I say that because y'all need to be careful because people about to be out here stealing groceries. They've already doing that. And I mean, I don't know how much of a joke that they were showing, but like you know how they have the little um, the little tags on the the food and the clothes. Mm -hmm. They had like the little tags on the eggs because people were actually what they're doing in the grocery store is going in and taking lifting, two or three eggs. Yeah, opening the cartons and stealing eggs out of the cartons instead of. Hey, hey! Shout out to them though because. To be able to make it back without smashing it in your pocket or something, <laughs> man, that's an adventure. That is crazy, but people are, people are li literally stealing eggs, y'all. I mean, the times we live in, these are hard times. It's crazy. Now, I, I will say this. One thing that has not changed is um, the police. Yeah. They at it again, man. Now, I did not watch the video. Uh, rest in peace to Tyree Nichols, uh, who was the latest black man, unfortunately, who was um, who died at the hands of the police. Uh, it was five or six Memphis police officers, I believe. Five out of the six of them were black. There may have been one white officer in there. They got him on video taking turns beating the guy. Um, now, more, and I'll talk about this more on the main show, but like, there's uh, more developments coming out that the guy may or may not have been dating like or like that. the ex of one of the cops or something. Mm -hmm. And they basically that. lined all up, man. And, and I think that that's, it's unfortunate. And I get on here on this platform all the time and, and talk to y'all because I am desensitized to this whole police against the black man thing. And not even in a like, oh, I'm just above it. Like, but like, I'm... It's part of the norm when you're growing up in the hood. Yeah. It's part of the norm when you grow up mm -hmm. in the suburbs. But like it's more frequent and more constant and, and more of a thing when you're growing up in, in, in the hood. Like you know the police gonna mess with you. Yes. Now the, the thing is, to what extent will they mess with you? You know what I'm saying? Like like now, yes. me personally, I've had the police put a gun in my face six or seven different times. Like I, and I'll tell you pretty much after the second time, you don't get scared no more you just kind of just be like this is it and if this is going to be it then you know what i'm saying i try you know what i'm saying like like and that's sad that you got to live like that it is but it's very sad. i'm not about to be you know what i'm saying like scared of the police now i don't fuck with the police i think that i'm you know and i'm trying to be different because my daughter's sitting here and anything i'm trying to i want to be able to teach her responsibly and not like not let my experiences kind of change her uh her experience the other thing is man, i just think that that overall we need to value black life we really need to value black life and 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 
I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this, to, and we can move on, because I, I wasn't even trying to get this serious. But like, but we have to, we as each other have to value our own black lives before we ask or, or want to protest and ask for anybody else to, to value us. Yeah, true. And I'm not saying it's our fault. I'm just saying like it has to start somewhere, and we have to take accountability for us. So let's just take accountability for us, and we'll figure the, the other situation out once we get. We'll figure the other side out once we get there. But like, let's focus on us and getting us together as a people. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. I ain't trying. To, I'm a bad one trying to preach. <laughs> Cause I believe in, in the sanctity of marriage in the community. And and if we if, if a bunch of families are born together, then we have a community. And if we have a community, then we have a, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how you build like yeah. multiple black families and stuff, man. But that's true. So yeah. Um that's all I got on that. Just the police doing their thing. But another black history fact, Super Bowl's coming up. Are you excited for Super Bowl? Yeah, well, I'm excited for halftime at Super Bowl. Because Rihanna's performing. Because <laughs> Rihanna's performing. Um, do you have a set list in mind? Or I like... do not, because you know what? It's been so long since we've had Rihanna. How long music. has it been? Um, no, for real, like. At least, what, since we got married? I don't think we had a Rihanna song since 2017, 2018. No, she dropped that other one. That was for, for the, the movie. Yeah, that counts as a song. Okay, so then that was just a few months ago. But honestly, she hasn't had like an album since like 2017, 2018, if that. Dang. And everybody has been waiting for years. It feels like centuries we've been waiting for Rihanna music. For like centuries. Um, but <laughs> I'm excited about that. I do not have a, a set list because yeah. I just want to hear all Rihanna music. Like all of it. Like just, I just love it. To and I'm quite it. sure I'm going to be playing one of the albums or so before we even get to it. Mm -hmm. Just like how I had my own. Me and Nooney had our own mini Taylor Swift concert. We're for Doing sure yeah, yeah. going to have a mini uh, Rihanna concert before this um, this Super Bowl. So, yes, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And all the Super Bowl commercials because, you know, of course, you get the great commercials then. But, but yeah, I'm the marketing guy, so you know I'll be up there. But I don't know, because last year's commercials wasn't his. Well, well, this is why. The reason why the Super Bowl commercials were a big deal back in the day is because of ratings and viewership. There there was never um, a, a time that monumental where you have all this many eyeballs all paying attention to the TV screen, right? So people pay big money to, to, to be featured in there, right? They could charge, the, the, the networks could charge however they wanted for the rates and people was paying right. that, right? Millions of dollars, half a million dollars for 30 seconds, 15 seconds, all of that, right? But now, eyeballs is everywhere now. It's the TV, it's the phone, Dream. it's yep. the streams, it's this, it's that. So like, and people aren't as engaged like with commercials, you know what I'm saying? Like as they once were. So. I don't. I like the commercials, but I don't think the commercials. It, it, like year over year, as we continue to like grow with technology, and, the commercials and the trends, start to get yeah, weak. They getting weaker and weaker. Because mm -hmm, they're not as funny as they used to be. Yeah. Or you have a company that'll just take a pre-existing commercial and just be like, all right, we're just gonna run that on Super Bowl. We don't have the money to, to yep. produce a new one, but we're gonna spend it just to place it in in, the, in that. You know what I'm saying? In that time frame, and then we're good. Like, I mean, by all means, if we get another. A new Captain Obvious commercial, I'll take that. Because his commercials are hilarious. The Doritos ones are always pretty good. They too. are. But have you seen the Captain they're Obvious getting They're getting wilder. Those are getting wild. Yep. Wild. <laughs> hey, man, because think about uh, Frank's Red Hot. I put that beep on everything. Like, yeah. like they're getting more and more with the... We, we, I saw one of the questions uh, for later, but like we go get into that about marketing <laughs> like attention grabbers. Yeah, yeah. That's a marketing trick just to be like, did they just say that? And then also, hey, we're hip. We're kind of cool. Is really what they're going for. Yeah, it is. that's what they're going uh, for. So, so before we get to the questions, a couple more things I want to get to. So, you, you excited about the Super Bowl? Excited. Uh, more so excited for Rihanna because we got Patrick Mahomes versus the Eagles, uh, Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. So Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs against Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. First time the two black quarterbacks are going against each other in the Super Bowl. In Black History Month. That's good. Yep. See? Everybody's always fixed. It's it like, bro, that way. maybe if you had more black people, like black quarterbacks and black coaches, we wouldn't have this problem. Uh, <laughs> guys. <laughs> well, we also know that, I mean, it can be everybody's throw it up for discussion but it's planned that way yeah well come on now. it's planned come on uh so that's that but um do you have a like a pick who you think is gonna win or um only because i said the other night when you was watching the game that the chiefs was gonna be the one that win the game to go to the super bowl the chiefs gonna win it project pat mahomes 
You heard that here first. I'm going Project Pat Mahomes. I want to see Jalen Hurts win. I wouldn't be mad, but I just feel like it's Project Pat. I, call, I keep calling him Project Pat. <laughs> it's Project Pat Mahomes time, right? Everybody got to like, if you want to be the guy in the league, you got to like rise, fall, rise again, and, and stay up. And he's done that. He, he rose, fell off. Came back. Y'all saw how he went out against Brady, and he was doing everything. Remember, that's when he was diving and throwing. Yeah, that, was, that game was crazy. He couldn't do much, right? But and then he'd been injured. He played the last game on one leg, so you got to give it to him. Now, Jalen Hurts, this is his first goal. Yeah, he's ah, I gotta, I gotta get field. Ah, first down. Guys. Now, Jalen Hurts, yes. I like him. Talented guy. Uh huh. This is his first shot at it. He may get it. He may lose and then have to come back. But, like, if you come back, then that's how we know you're elite. You got to be able to, like, bounce back. So, we're going to see. Um, again, I'm holding my breath one day that the Lions will go to the Super Bowl. But, you know, London will be 17 by the time. <laughs> uh, or if you let Detroit tell it next year, they're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Well, so, I guess we'll see. We'll keep that one in the books. If, they, if the Lions go to the Super Bowl, I'm going to the Super Bowl. Like... I'm well, there. I guess you'll be saving your ticket because it's going to be the same price as a Beyonce ticket. I'll, by that time, I'll be rich and, 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 <laughs> and retired and have all my money. I'll be able to afford it. Trust <laughs> said me. said by that time. We'll put it to the staff. Like, all right, I'm going to leave me at least 5000 for when the Lions win the Super Bowl. Man, I'm going to fly out wherever they at, man. The ticket going to cost 4000 And then I need, I need 1000 for the places. I know. Spirit. Yep. I know. No, we're going to drive or walk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right. So, so we got some marriage questions from the chat. Did you want to? Uh... Um, one of the topics that has been trending in the marriage, millennial marriage group, is for relationships, you know, as far as the woman's side, dealing with the suspicions of your man cheating and then men dealing with the suspicions of your woman cheating. Okay. Uh, for us, I would say we haven't had that issue. Um, one, because we really sit and have these conversations. You know? We sit and have these conversations and we trust each other. And this one goes, hey, if you feel like you got to step out and you don't want this, bro, yeah. go do you. Because remember, you do you, you do something like that, you ain't coming back. Right. So that's like the understanding and agreement that we have. Like you can't violate your body. Yeah. And then I think too, one, we are together. So <laughs> And then, you know, like we said like we were saying, you know, talking about if you cheat, you are not only dishonoring your vows, it's like, you know, you doing that in front of God. In front of it's God. like, hey bruh. You ain't trying to disappoint God. So no, I I'm with that. Like and that, that's where like like we solid at, right? But that's because we like honor the commitment that we made to one another. My thing is, so people when they say like when they say dealing with suspicions, is it like what? Because they always say women have an intuition or something. Is it like you feel something or like you just start to like notice things? Like like you the, know how women do? They start noticing things or they just start putting stuff together. Oh, she commented on your, your on, post three times. But 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 women do that and they be over jumping to all types Sometimes, of yes. uh, conclusions and assumptions. All right, guys, and make sure that you follow me on Instagram at naturally underscore nay with two E's. Make sure you click that link also and you get your instant moisture duo. Follow low and audible ruckus on all streaming platforms. Um, and make sure you go to inaudibleruckus.com and get your merch. And this has been another episode of The Skeeters. Bye. Bye.